Are y'all just like always doing this? It's like seven in the morning. Welcome to Pot of Gold, everybody. Today, I've only got one thing on my mind and only one reason that I'm here. And that is none other than the Silver Standard Ecstatic. Step one, meet you at the beginning. Can't wait. Hashtag standards. All right, come with me. Sometimes they say a pot of gold is always at the end of the rainbow. Every mountaintop it's within reach if you just keep climbing. The best views come after the hardest climbs. And for six men, the biggest climb of their life is coming soon. As they each climb to try and receive a title that has been carried by many workhorses in the past. It has stood the test of time and will deliver in the progression of VTW. So ladies and gentlemen, the gold at the top of that mountain will be the illustrious YouTube Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pot O Gold. I am Boss the Sauce Bigsby, alongside my broadcast partner. Orval Miguel Galel and Boss Boy, am I excited about tonight because you know tonight we're crowning our new inaugural VTW YouTube Champion in the main event ladder match. That's true, and right here you see Four of the six men that are in the ladder match. These four men were drawn at random. So let's take a look at some of these men that are in this match. We got God's true son, Asher Christ, the outlaw, d -Lock, the blaze, Ace Christian, and Zach Xander. And boss... That's only four men, so that leaves two open spots in that match. And how are we going to pick those men? Qualified matches. Look who's coming back tonight, boss. It's the return, the long-anticipated return of D'Lo Smith. And he's going to be taking on household name Jacob Ryan. And in our first ladder match qualifier coming up next, we will see the VTW chairman, Tyler Aiken, take on Cynic. And boss, I hear we're gonna take it over. We're gonna see exactly what all these men are fighting for. And there it is, the new VTW YouTube Championship. Sheesh, boss. That is one good looking championship that all six men will be fighting for tonight. So let's take it to the ring for some action. We're here, we're gonna find out which one of these two men are gonna advance into the ladder match later tonight. And we're starting it off with none other than Cynic. That's right, remember, 
at our last show, Love Sucks, Cynic was unsuccessful against Ecstatic. And now he is in this match going up against one of the other VTW originals in the chairman, the Gooba, Tyler Aiken. Bossy certainly, certainly got a big task ahead of him tonight. We can't take anything away from him in his performance against Ecstatic. I just wonder how he's going to fare against an even more experienced veteran like Tyler Aiken. That's true. This is a first time ever matchup. This match has never happened anywhere. And introducing his opponent, this is the Gooba, Tyler Aiken. There he is, the Gooba, Tyler Aiken, making his way to the ring to compete here tonight for a chance at the YouTube Championship. Boss, what would a victory with the YouTube Championship mean for Tyler Aiken? Man, that right there would mean a lot to him, you know. Tyler Aiken taking over this company after the passing of the late, great Avery Hope. And I'm pretty sure he's got a lot of good things in store for this company. And just imagine if he goes running with the YouTube Championship. It would be an amazing way to kick off this new era of VTW, the first ever YouTube champion in this era being none other than the Gooba Tyler Aiken. I couldn't think of a better way to start it. That is very true. Oh, you're going to meet the devil. I'm going to tear you apart in front of all these people. Oh, oh the trash talk from oh, Cynic. You know, Tyler, Tyler Aiken calling Cynic the devil, which, I mean, kind of is. Let's do this. Ring the bell. Senior official Little Debbie has called for the bell, and now the first qualifying matchup of the night is underway. The Gooba Tyler clapping. Aiken taking on Senate. Boss, what do you think is what's Tyler Aiken's game plan going into this match? Well, I mean, I know Tyler has wrestled a lot of bigger men in his in his career. I got it, boy. But has he ever wrestled anyone as methodical and as just downright vicious as cynic? You know, boss, he may not have, but Tyler Aiken, well, you see right there, the uh, the veteran's edge there of Tyler Aiken. He's keeping it technical here with Cynic, who uh, we know is not very well known for being technical. That's very true. And see, uh, now look at this. Oh, roll up. Roll up. He might sneak one away. Kick out. Only a two there. And now it looks like they're measuring each other up. And now Tyler Aiken with the waist lock there onto Cynic. Notice how every time Cynic tries to get away from Tyler Aiken, he either tries to overpower him or outsmart him, but Tyler Aiken going right back to that technical base. That's why now look, Tyler Aiken tripping up Cynic. That's exactly what I'm talking about there, boss. You know, he's getting the Cynic out of his comfort zone. This is this is not a place we see Cynic often. Cynic is known for being a strong, powerful competitor. That is definitely true, and now he looks like he escapes, goes for the back fist, and now Aiken jumps on his back. How's Cynic going to get out of this? Oh, could this be the opening that Cynic needs? Elbows to the jaw. Oh, boss, those repeated elbows. We are Legion. 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 Alley oop there by Cynic to Tyler Aiken. Rolls him through. Oh no, no, oh no. Boss, he could be looking to put him away early. Oh, good grief. Oh my god. We've never seen Tyler Aiken in this predicament. Oh my god. Boss, Cynic just kicked off this match with a slingshot powerbomb. Oh my god. Hang on, let's see a replay of this. This was just downright devastating. You count three, you count three. two, you got the shoulder already. Two. 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 Look at this, Orville. Tyler Aiken. I mean, look at this. This slingshot power bomb. Boss, I don't know how that wasn't three. 
What a what a devastating move. This early on in the matchup. That you know, that's gonna have to wear Tyler Aiken down. There's no way he's gonna be hundred percent the rest of this match. He's gonna make the Gooba smile and now look, pulling his lips back. What an unorthodox method there by Cynic. You shut up! The the cheap here. The cheap, cheap, cheap! Cow work there! Oh my god. Oh my. And now it looks like Oh! Elbow to the jaw! Aiken with that rolling forearm in the corner? Could this be the comeback Tyler Aiken needs? No! Misses that Centon Cynic rolls right out of the way. Most definitely. You know what? Cynic might have this. Where is it? Gooba! 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 Boss, I, I don't know. I'm torn. I know Tyler Aiken has a competitor. I know he's probably got a few tricks up his sleeve, but Cynic definitely is taking it to the Gooba. And now, just dumping Tyler Aiken on his head right there. You see him clutching the back of his neck. This might be the like this might be the opening that Cynic needs. I very well agree with you that uh that slingshot power bomb definitely has to have Tyler Aiken rattled. And now you see Cynic doing what he does best! My god! Tilt a world backbreaker there by Cynic. What's that? What's that? Gooba can't breathe! Oh, the cheap tactics by Cynic. Boss, this isn't a smart move here by Cynic. He hit that beautifully executed tilt a world backbreaker on the knee and didn't go for a pinfall. That's going to come back and cost him later on in this matchup. It very might. It, it might, and now it looks like a Russian leg sweep. Cynic now. With the upper hand on the Gooba, Tyler Aiken. What can we see here? Oh my, he might stomp his head into the, to the damn mat. Oh my God! Could be a devastating blow. Tyler Aiken with the rope break. The Gooba knows exactly where he is inside that ring at all times, boss, and that's why he is the ring veteran here. Most definitely, Cynic getting obviously frustrated. These two men battling it out here because later in the night, one of these men are going to advance into the YouTube title ladder match where we crown an inaugural YouTube champion. Most definitely. And now look, Sling Blade, boss! Giant Sling Blade. I think this is the opening that the Gooba needs if he wants that YouTube championship. And now... Oh, oh no! Ankle lock! Aiken going for that Avada Kedavra! And Cynic catches the foot, ankle lock applied! Oh! It sends him right into that top turnbuckle! Into the buckle! Gooba lock! Goes around! Gooba lock! He's got the Gooba lock applied! Oh! Oh no! You remember what happened? Boss! I can do that again if you want me to. You think you're about to climb the ladder of success, don't you? Think you're gonna go up there and reach that YouTube title tonight. <laughs> what the hell is he doing out here, boss? I thought he was I thought he wasn't supposed to be a, be on the show till later tonight. That's right, Aaron Jones in action later tonight, but what the hell is this? No. Oh boss! Lights out! The Gooba's out! He's out! Oh my god! Upset of the century! Boss! Oh my god, Cynic! Cynic advances! Cynic is going to the YouTube Championship ladder match in our main event. All oh, thanks to this despicable bastard Aaron Jones. What is this man's problem with Tyler Aiken? Oh my god, I don't... I don't even know. What is this man's problem? I really don't even know. Regardless, boss, decision was cut and clear right there. Cynic has won this qualifying match and will be moving into the main event ladder match for the YouTube Championship. The Legion is coming. Cynic is a new monster you have never seen 
fifth version. You know, Tyler. You can't do that. You know, Tyler. I was gonna use these to cuff you to the rope, but they ain't fun enough for me. I went through your girlfriend's purse back there. Oh, oh, that ain't cool, man. And speaking of your girlfriend, shut up. And speaking of your girlfriend. It looks like you're laying on the ground crying just like she does, right? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Look at me, Aiken. Look at me. Those goggles make you see, right? Look. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. Come on. Hey, come on. No, those are good right now. You know what? I'll use them both. Look at me, those goggles make you see, right? 15 years, right? 15 years. You were my so-called friend, right? We all know the past. I came here and I spoke it like the gospel. How you weren't there? How you betrayed me, but I'm the bad guy, right? I'm the bad guy. Yeah. Oh. Tyler, it's time for these people to finally look deeper inside of you and realize that you are a scumbag piece of shit. You lay here. Lay here in your sweat and blood, Tyler. Because in due time, Tyler, you'll be laying here in a lot more than your own sweat and your own blood. Ultimate redemption is coming up real soon. And the only redemption that I see, shut up! Come on, Joel! The only redemption! I Come see on. is me taking you out like the piece of garbage you are. So, I've humiliated you. I've made a joke of you. And what better way to humiliate you more? You better stay down there and don't you try to get up because I will knock your teeth down your throat. Pinning you isn't good enough for me, Tyler. Submitting you isn't good enough for me. The chance of you running isn't good enough. The chance that you could take something and hit me with it to get your way out is not good enough. One match, Tyler. That's all we're going to have. You and me, one match. Last man standing because I want to beat you so bad that you won't be able to get up. That you won't be able to do anything. You know why, Aiken? Because at Ultimate Redemption, when I'm done with you, You'll be hoping that plot beside of Avery had your name on it. Oh, hey, that's despicable. Absolutely despicable words there by Aaron Jones. He's just challenged Tyler Aiken to a match at, at Ultimate Redemption. The biggest show of the year, boss. Last man standing at that. But boss, we're going to take a second here and promote all other forms of social media for VTW, starting with our Facebook page. Head on over to Facebook, give us a like, give us a follow. Facebook is where you will find all the new VTW information first. Speaking of following there, boss, head on over to the Twitter sphere and give us a follow on Twitter. And while you're at it, you might as well just go on your Instagram account and follow at VTW Wrestling to see all kinds of behind-the-scenes pictures, videos, match announcements, everything in between. And also, go and give us a like on this video, comment, and uh, boss, did you know that only 45% of our viewers are subscribed? What? That means over half of you watching this video right now are not subscribed. Hey, we're doing this on our own dime. It doesn't cost you anything to hit that subscribe button. So go ahead, help us out, support the channel, and we thank you very much for sticking with Versus the World Wrestling. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, this is unrefined. Diego Ryan! Last month didn't end the way I wanted to, but tonight starts the first step. You're looking at your new YouTube champion. Get up on your feet, respect me! Get up on your feet! Like Jacob Ryan said last month in the Love Sucks Street Fight, 
He was unsuccessful, but I think that's enraged Jake. I think New now YouTube he champion. has a chip on his shoulder. He absolutely could, boss. And of course, the man that beat Jacob Ryan last month in the Love Suck Street Fight D Lock already announced for the main event ladder match tonight for the YouTube, New YouTube Championship. Champion right here. New YouTube Champion. All right, Jacob. And I know Jacob Ryan would know, would love nothing more than to get his hands on D Lock once again. Oh, Orville, you hear that? I hear it, boss. I hear it. Oh, gosh. I need to stand up for a second. I'm up here getting crook. Boss, sit down. You're going to throw your hip out again. Specimen in front of us, D'Lo Smith making his triumphant return here to versus the world wrestling wife and kid in the crowd. And look at the shape this man is in. This man has got into great shape. Stay with me now. D'Lo Smith. We are gathered. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a true honor, a beautiful sight to see here. I'm so happy to see D'Lo Smith back in a VTW ring and back on VTW programming. Most definitely. And let's see if all of this... Another original going to fall to an outsider here. I told you this is my VTW now. Like I was saying, let's see if all of the hard work behind the scenes has paid off for D'Lo Smith. Oh, Welcoming back a loser. Welcoming back a loser. Oh, come Jacob on, Ryan says. Zelo Smith's always been one of my favorites. How dare you talk about him like that, Jake? Ring the bell. Boss, the sauce. This match is underway. Unrefined. Jacob Ryan taking on Zelo the Prime Smith, and both of these men wrestling. Fighting for a chance to enter all right, all right, the all right, main all right, event all right, ladder match. Out, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, I, you can obviously see he's in pretty good shape, but I'm obviously the better specimen. Yeah, I know. Better shape than better shape than him. Better shape than D'Lo Smith. D'Lo Smith is a physical specimen. Look at the body on that guy. Are we going to see a test? Of I don't think this is going to play out too well for Jacob Bryan here, boss. Oh, no, 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 no. This one, this one, this one. Come on, come on, I got you. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, God! Oh, well, yeah, he got him all right, boss. Yeah. I'm telling you, you don't, you, you don't mess with a guy that looks like that. D'Lo, D'Lo Smith here. First time we've seen him in action in quite a while here in Versus the World. Most definitely. If, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, great. The last time I believe we saw D'Lo Smith was in the Reunion Rumble. That was for the BTW World title that Zach Daniels won. But now I'm so glad to have this man back in a BTW ring. Uh, well, boss, it looks like he's overpowering Jacob Ryan here. Oh, my he gosh. absolutely did. Overpowered Jacob Ryan, threw him in the buckle so hard, Jacob Ryan lost his footing. Jacob Ryan has definitely bitten off more than he could chew okay. in this match. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Jacob might need some time to readjust and reassess the situation that is in front of him. And that situation being none other. Then that handsome fella, D'Lo Smith. Hold on. Back him up a minute. Now look, Jacob Ryan being very smart, being the veteran of this matchup, allowing him a chance to breathe, a chance. Oh, and now look. Oh, hey, he's got his thumb in the eye. Ref, come on. That right there is the opening that Jacob needed. Huh? What about it now? Uh, Jacob Ryan saying he wasn't going to be able to outpower okay. 
D'Lo Smith taking the cheap shot, but D'Lo taking back over here. Jacob Ryan in the corner. Is he gonna go around the world? He very well could. He's gonna chop him around the world. You know, he's coming out of Mexico. He's going into South America now. And another one. And now we're gonna fly to Australia. All the way over here. Boss, are you okay? I love this man. D'Lo Smith goes for another chop. Jacob Ryan out of the way and a huge right hand to the jaw of D'Lo Smith. Jacob Ryan knows he's not able to outpower D'Lo Smith here, so he's got to take the cheap way out, reverse the Lucky Irish here. Oh! Beautiful back elbow, another back elbow by D'Lo Smith, taking Jacob Ryan off his feet. Oh! Spot Monster, could that be it? Two count. Only a two count, that could have had him there. But boss, think about how early on in this matchup we are, and that was a two count. Yeah, get him back, I mean, get him back, get him back, get him back. Looky there, Jacob Ryan with the strategy oh. once again. Boss, I couldn't tell if that was a shot below the belt or right at it. Either way, Jacob Ryan with the upper hand here. Jacob Ryan always has to get the referee in the middle of him and his opponent. That way he can get the opening. Boss, I gotta say, it's a smart move. Jacob Ryan knows his way around this wrestling ring. He knows, he, he's a veteran of the game here. He knows exactly what needs to happen. Oh! Oh my gosh. Shoulder first into that buckle. It looks like Jacob Ryan is gonna target the arm here, the left arm of D'Lo Smith. He's trying to pop that, pop that arm and pop that shoulder out of socket. Oh! D'Lo Smith, as you can tell, has spent hours and hours and hours in the gym. And now, it looks like Jake's trying to take out the midsection. In the arm. If he can't get off the ground all that time in the gym, may not pay off for him. It may not do him any good if Jacob Bryan continues to ground and pound D'Lo Smith the way we've seen so far. Oh, Jacob wearing him right back down. He's working that left arm of D'Lo Smith. He said no. Oh, Jacob Ryan, planting Delo's face right into the canvas. That still don't mean you can pull it. Both men trying to get on their feet, and Jacob Ryan right back on offense. Boss, what's the strategy for Delo? He outpowered Jacob Ryan in the beginning of this match. Oh, Jacob, come on! What's the strategy for D'Lo here? He outpowered Jacob Ryan earlier on in this match, but now Jacob Ryan definitely has the upper hand on D'Lo Smith. I believe D'Lo Smith is going to have to get into the mind of Jacob Ryan. Know exactly how he works. Well, boss, remember this is the first time either of these men have touched each other ever. That is true. Oh, push off by D'Lo Smith. Oh! Atomic drop there. Come on. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, he's got the claw! He's got the claw on the shoulder! Claw on the shoulder that he's been working this entire time! Oh, Jacob oh Ryan. gosh. Right back on the offensive there. Just when D'Lo Smith, it looks like he's going to get the upper hand. You can definitely tell. Jacob Ryan, the more experienced of the two. He knows how to capitalize on any mistake that D'Lo Smith makes. Trips him up there. And now right back on the submission. He is just trying to wear him down. Absolutely, and it's a smart strategy. When you have a man as when you have a man like D'Lo Smith in the ring, I think that's the only way you can beat him. He can obviously outpower Jacob Ryan, but Jacob just has him grounded and pounded this entire time, wearing down on wearing down one specific limb. That way, D'Lo loses feeling, loses power, loses his ability, his equal now look. He could, oh, he's he's in it. He stays in it. And now, D'Lo with the shots to the back. Looks like he. Looks like he, he, is, he has escaped, and now cross face. he's got the cross face locked in, but 
is the sh it, you have to wonder is the shoulder as strong as it was it can't be a hundred percent Jacob Ryan getting his foot on the bottom rope forcing a rope break there these two men putting on a very competitive match here because both of them want to lead both of them want to win and lead themselves into the main event ladder match tonight for the YouTube championship definitely and I mean like you said this isn't just some random exhibition match this is oh that's it it's over no! Like I was saying, this right here isn't just any exhibition match. This right here, this match right here has championship implications. The winner of this goes on to the Pot of Gold ladder match. Boss, who wouldn't want to walk away with that beautiful YouTube championship? Anybody that's going to be in that match will be happy to walk away with such a beautiful, beautiful, prestigious championship. Definitely. They would definitely be kicking off the new era of VTW in a really good way. D'Lo reversing. And now we might see. Here we go. There we go. Lands it. Duck. Oh! Flying clothesline there by D'Lo Smith. That may be the opening this man needs. That's a patented D'Lo Smith combo right there. Come on! Getting the crowd fired up behind D'Lo Smith. Oh. You know what he's setting up for. Boss, could we see it? My favorite move the of all time. The D-Lo. Oh! Boss, Jacob Ryan gets the knees up on the D-Lo flip. No. Oh, no. Oh! Throws him down with that already injured shoulder. Boss. Oh, no. And now. No, it's Flyers. over. Flyers. It's got to be over. it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, good try, D'Lo Smith. Thanks for coming, but Jacob Ryan walking away victorious. Oh, my God. What? You, you got to give credit where credit's due. D'Lo Smith put on one hell of a fight against Jacob Ryan. And now look at these replays. That's the, that's the move that cost the D'Lo Smith. This match goes for the D'Lo flip, but Jacob Ryan with the advantage earns him the victory. Where's your D'Lo now? One down, one more match to go. New champion, bet on it. That pot of gold is mine. Jacob Ryan, strong declaration there in a hard fought match against the returning D'Lo Smith. Can we see? Can we be looking at the YouTube champion right there, boss? We very much could. It could be Jacob Ryan. It could be Cynic, Asher Christ, Zach Zander, Ace Christian, D Lock. The possibilities are endless, but our field is set for Pot of Gold. Oh, what did we learn? Well, we learned that very valuable yet painful lesson. Sometimes, love sucks. And I ought to know that lesson. I learned that lesson long, long ago, long ago. The Supreme Leader before me, she did give me a gift, a legion of zombies. To our command, we did some things, bad things, to good people. But before our vision could possibly expand, <laughs> she left. <laughs> what can I say? Sometimes love sucks. <laughs> and the funny thing about it is that woman in white like a ghost is nothing more than a fading memory. No one will remember her name. But my name. <laughs> that name will be long remembered. After all, look at everything that I've done.
And now, I am the chain of command. I'm the supreme leader now. Me! And the Legion, following my cause. You, all of you, will guide me to victory. You will guide me to my destination. And love's storm has passed, and there is a beautiful rainbow outside, and a pot of gold that lies at the end of the trail. So go on, have your fun, if you're feeling lucky. But just remember, when I find the end of that trail, whatever creed comes to be TW. Your luck has run out pot of gold will always be outweighed by the blood spilled by the supreme. Every creed is coming to VTW. So be prepared. following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. He is the real boss man, Eric Jones. Oh, fantastic. Look who it is, boss. I can't wait to see what physical specimen Aaron Jones has picked to face tonight. Well, you know, at the past two shows, New Horizons and Love Sucks, New Horizons, he had Mephisto, and at Love Sucks, he had good old Tommy Dong, so uh, I'm not really expecting much from this match either. Aaron Jones has just absolutely decimated and disrespected everybody in his path, including that man right there, Little Debbie. When you saw last show, Little Debbie was sick and tired of Aaron Jones, and he paid the price for it. Yep, so let's see who Aaron Jones' opponent is. What? Boss, who is this? What? What? This is Aaron Jones. Oh, oh my God. I could say so many words right now, Orvel. The unkillable Adam Anderson! I can't stand this guy. What? How can you not like the unkillable Adam Anderson? He's he's playing mind games with Aaron Jones coming out to his face. He's getting bone. He's dressed just like him. He looks like a Neanderthal. Boss, it's the unkillable Adam Anderson making his way back to VTW. Oh, good grief. Good grief. Who let children play in our rink? Boss, I wasn't expecting much from this match, but I gotta say now, I'm expecting even less. From Aaron Jones, because the unkillable Adam Anderson is gonna take the fight to this dickhead Aaron Jones. I mean, Aaron Jones, he may be a quote unquote dickhead, like you say. But you gotta give the man some some a little bit of credit. I mean, he's he's been a dominant force here in VTW. He's taken out Mephisto and Tommy Dong so far. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Referee! Oh, good grief. Ask him. Ask him if he submits. What if he submits? No. If I had to wrestle stick and bone, I'd probably submit too. Jesus! Boss, it doesn't look like Aaron Jones is gonna submit though. Uh, nor, nor should he. Is, are these mind games being played by Adam Anderson here? Well, look at this. Oh, oh no! Oh, good grief, boss! I don't think this is gonna play well for Adam Anderson anymore. Wait, this right here. Anderson, he's getting leverage. Oh, 
Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. yeah, oh. boss, this ain't gonna go well for Adam Anderson. You know better. That right there was like a pencil. Oh! That right there was like a pencil and a thick sharpie having a tug of war. Right, it's a little small oh. on you, buddy. Oh. oh! Caving his chest in, literally. Whoa! Boss, he just turned into a damn lizard! Oh my gosh. Adam Anderson on the. Oh! But Aaron Jones catches him. Oh, oh my god! He literally grief. just flung him at senior official Little Debbie. Have you ever seen a human frisbee? Because I just saw one. My god, Aaron Jones dominating the unkillable Adam Anderson. Beautifully executed Good. scoop slam there. But I do got to. As much as I do not like this Adam Anderson kid. He's he's putting up he's put up more of a fight than Mephisto or Tommy Donk. Yeah, uh, both of those matches were over by this point. Adam Anderson's actually oh, sticking in it. He's actually fighting back. That's why he's called the unkillable Adam Anderson, boss. You can't get rid of this man. He's like a leech. He comes back for blood. He looks like a big old grasshopper. Is Aaron Jones going to have to cut the leech? Whoa! Oh! Missile drop kick by Adam Anderson. Oh! oh high God. knee. High knee in the corner to Jones. Another high knee. Do you see how Aaron Jones' neck is going back on those hits? My God, he's, dead. he's brought him off his feet, boss. He's brought Aaron uh -oh. Jones off his feet. Had to sit on. Oh! Tree of woe. He's caught up. How do you catch yourself up in a tree of woe? Oh! Got a wrecking ball. Just hit the unkillable Adam Anderson. Cheer for him. The crowd absolutely against this despicable man, Aaron Jones. Adam Anderson looking like he's... Steps. What the hell is this man doing? Keep it in the ring. Senior official Little Debbie with the count. Boss. Oh no. Boss. Come on now. No. You gotta be kidding me. Oh boss. I heard that's called the booking fee. There's your booking fee Adam Anderson. Oh god. I think I'd much rather do without the $20. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Boss, he just gave him that hellacious move right there on the apron. And I have a feeling this is all she wrote for Adam Anderson. Aaron Jones just needs to... Whoa! Oh! Oh, my. Just the... Seeing that move right there is just downright disrespectful. He just hit the clothesline from Hoke on Adam Anderson. He just took his damn head off. And it earned him the victory here. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron here Jones. Is your winner, the real boss man, huh. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones oh has killed the unkillable Adam Anderson here at Pot O Gold. Well, let's take another look at some of just the devastation that Aaron Jones done. Anderson. It just makes me sick to my stomach. Even though I'm not a fan of Adam Anderson. My gosh, look here, takes his head off. Ah, that clothesline from Hoke. Of course, the patented move of the late great boss man Avery Hoke. Aaron Jones has stolen it as his own. Hey Avery, I know that we like to talk a lot, but come real soon, you're gonna be a whole lot closer to your damn nephew. Yeah. All right, somebody come and come and get more mail while I talk about what's coming up next. Four of the six men in the pot of gold ladder match warming up, getting ready because that match is up next.
The following contest is a six-man ladder match for the new VTW YouTube Championship. Introducing first is the outlaw, D-Lock. Corvale, are you good? I'm good. We're back. Professionals, as always. D-Lock now, making his way to the ring for the Pot of Gold ladder match. This ladder match for the YouTube Championship. You see it hanging high above the ring there, boss. And you know it's just gotta add an extra element of oomph behind every single one of these competitors about to make their way out. Definitely. And D-Lock is one of the most decorated VTW YouTube champions in the history of VTW. And this man has been on a tear for years and years. I think this might be his time to win some gold again. Christ making his way to the pot of gold ladder match and uh what a, what a way Asher Christ has came into BTW main eventing New Horizons accepting the open challenge against Zach Daniels for the World Heavyweight Championship of course not walking away victorious in that matchup but what a strong showing that was very very strong showing and if anybody in this matchup is gold hungry it's asher christ that's absolutely right and what a beautiful sight it would be to see asher christ with that beautiful youtube championship Christian, if you guys tune in to one of our partner companies, DBW, you have seen this man grow up. He was at best in the yard four in the pre-show wrestling against then known as K-9. And they had an amazing matchup. But now look at him, grown up and ready to win some gold. And the next opponent, unrefined, Jacob Ryan. That's coming home with me tonight. That's coming home with me. Jacob Ryan, of course, earning his spot into this match earlier in the night against the returning D'Lo Smith. It was a hard-fought battle between both men, but Jacob Ryan got the upper hand and now wants the U2 Championship. If there's anybody in this matchup that I think can do it, I've got my eyes on Jacob Ryan, boss. I gotta be honest. And right here, is another man who qualified earlier in the night. Introducing the next opponent, he is Cynic. Cynic with that dominating display over the Gooba, Tyler Aiken with some uh, unintentional assistance 
from that despicable man Aaron Jones. But nonetheless, Cynic earned his way into this matchup and now he also wants the YouTube Championship. Can we see, man, can we see Cynic become the YouTube Champion, boss? I, I honestly believe that Cynic in this matchup is the dark horse. He's the man that you would least expect to win this thing. But what if it actually happens? You know, he's the man you would least expect, but he also could be one of the, one of the highest potentials to win this based yep. off his unpredictability. Zach Zander now making his way to the ring for the pot of gold ladder match. We've seen Zander with a couple heavy displays here on Versus the World Wrestling. Of course, that beautiful kickoff match he had with the Silver Standard Ecstatic kicking off this new era of Versus the World. And uh, it couldn't have been a better match. Sander, of course, not walking away victorious in that matchup. But nonetheless, an impressive show. Like he said right there, he said it's Zack Zander versus the world. And I think for this type of matchup, it's everyone versus the world. Extremely great wrestler. Well, boss, he may be an extremely great wrestler, but we'll see if he's good at climbing ladders. Yeah, that's what this match is about. Knock your stupid hat off your head. Yeah, you ain't going to see no... Drop down leapfrog <laughs> hip toss in this match. You better be leapfrogging on top of that ladder to get that beautiful red championship. Look at it high above the ring with all of these men. Uh oh. This is what I was saying earlier in the night. This is the reason why Jacob Ryan wanted in this match. The cold, cold blood between both of these men. Wait, oh, oh! Both men starting off hot and heavy here. d -Lock, Jacob Ryan throwing the first punches. I would have expected them to go after each other. I think I'm picking up on their strategy. You know, they may want each other for... Yeah, oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Oh, Wouldn't this be a damn matchup right here? The three of these men sharing... Oh! Ryan taken out early on by none other than Asher Christ. And now these two, oh boss. What a matchup. What a moment. Asher Christ, the outlaw, D Lock, oh, and it's ruined by Zach Xander. And now he's looking in the face. I would say he's looking in the face of the devil, but that's God's true son, Asher Christ. That's right. And I'm just choking him out. My God, boss! Across the ring, and you see, you see Jacob Ryan and Cynic taking it to each other on the outside of the ring. This match is gonna be a car wreck in itself, boss. There's so much going on on the outside of the ring already. Oh my God, Asher Christ, dominating display here against the Blaze Ace Christian. And now Jacob Ryan and D Lock. I'm, getting, I, I'm getting, getting flashbacks from their Love Sucks street fight, but I think we need to take it in the ring. But Zack Xander setting up that ladder. Boss, he's the only smart one here. Look, he's, he's looking around to make sure. He's making sure nobody's paying attention to him. Asher Christ, Jacob Ryan on the outside. This is a match I'd love to see. But look, Xander's, Xander's climbing up. The only thing he's got to do is unsnap it. New champion, boss. No. Hey, the Blaze, Ace Christian. Christian stopping him now. And now punching away on him. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Zach Zander fighting the Blaze off. Oh, my. Wait. Oh, whoa, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now. Oh, whoa. Look Let's take this. a look at that again. Oh my goodness. Oh. My God. Ace Christian tipping that ladder over. But now Ace Christian might be your new YouTube champ. No, but Cynic. 
Senate coming in. Oh no, torture rack position. Uh -oh. oh my right goodness. down on him. And now Cynic has the ring all to himself, but we see Xander and Christ outside of the ring fighting. Cynic climbing the climbing the ladder, getting his footing. But there's Jacob Ryan. This is this is what I was talking about, Jacob Ryan. He knows exactly what's going on at all times. He probably has the most experience of anyone in this matchup. Except for the man he just oh. kicked. Asher Christ. Kick that rope right into the groin, into the loins of Asher Christ. Oh gosh, that right there will pull a hammy. And now Jacob Ryan. Could we see a new YouTube champion right here? Xander says, uh-uh. Boss, there's so much going on in this matchup. It's so unpredictable. There's six men competing for that one prize hanging high above the ring. And... These six men, you know, are, are going to be pivotal factors moving forward in BTW. No matter who walks out YouTube champ or who doesn't, all, all six of these men are very, very competitive competitors. Absolutely. And now we see, we might be seeing Ace Christian. Oh! And now we're seeing the blood feud again between D-Lock and Jacob Ryan in the ring. I boss, I can watch this match a um, hundred times and never get tired of it. D-Lock and Jacob Ryan. Oh, God, they know how to put on a clinic, but D-Lock I think can put on a clinic with anybody. I think D-Lock thinking in his head that he, it's going to take a lot more to put these men away. That's why he's just moving the ladder out of the way. And now what are we going to see here? My God! Black hole slam by D-Lock. And that's what it's going to take to keep a man out of this matchup. Yeah, no. It's going to be stuff like that. Now, is D-Lock going to go for the ladder? But now we see... Yep, he, there he is going for that ladder. But look at Cynic. Cynic oh, sees no. him. There's blood in the water for D Lock. Oh, and now ringing him up on that top rope. And Xander and Ace Christian. Oh, White Jacob Ryan's got a mini ladder. Where'd he get that? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Shots to the head with that yes, mini sir. ladder. Where's that, where's that damn cowboy? Hey, bitch, what's up? Oh! Well, that ladder can be used as a weapon, but I don't think you're going to get very far climbing that thing. Jacob Ryan now into the ring. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And now it looks like he's going after Cynic. But look, Asher Christ and... Oh! Through the ladder! Don't like that. Oh, my right goodness. into the face of Jacob Ryan. Oh, oh, boss. Good Lord. Good God. T-bone suplex there by Asher Christ spiking Jacob Ryan. Your weight is a sin. Oh, my goodness. My God, ladies and gentlemen. And now Ace Christian on the attack. With those uppercuts in the corner, looks like they're right to the throat. Ace Christian trying to take out none other than Asher Christ! Oh! Right into that ladder! Throwing the big man into the ladder. That was a smart move there by Ace Christian. He knows he's going to have to take the bigger men in this matchup out if he wants to have a chance to climb that ladder and retrieve the YouTube Championship. Ace Christian has a chance to be the youngest VTW YouTube Champion of all time. The Maybe even the youngest champion in general in VTW, boss. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. D-Lock got him up. Oh, oh, elevated backbreaker there right down on the shoulder of D-Lock. And we see Jacob Ryan on the outside of the ring working the f and now biting him. 
Boss, oh. there's so much going on in this match. There's so much to keep up with. It's been chaos so far. I can only imagine what's going to unfold here oh. as Cynic with that underhook kick there to, to Asher Christ. And we see D-Lock in, in, in the background climbing the ladder. This could be D-Lock's moment, but Xander says nope. Zach Xander, a very resilient competitor here in VTW. Oh, but Boss, can he come back from that? Oh, my, a huge super kick by Asher Christ. And now look, uh oh hey, I'm telling you, I told you, Orville, he pulled a hammy. He pulled, he, he pulled his loins, boss, his loins. He better get his loins in check if he wants to win the YouTube title. But look at this, look at that, look at that sight right there. Is he, uh, look, is, is he making him eat dirt? Making him eat dirt. Come here, cameraman. Oh, he just rubbed his boogers on the cameraman. That poor cameraman. I'm sure he's not getting paid enough for that. D-Lock, middle of the ring here with that ladder. What could he be looking for? Setting it up. Uh oh. No, please. Oh, God. These, competitors, ah, these competitors should know if you set up the ladder. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Ah, oh. Oh. These, these competitors should know if you set up a ladder in the corner like that, it's going to be chaos incoming. Oh, oh D-Lock. I told you. Sent flying into that ladder. Oh. My God, boss. Oh. Oh, you see d pinky oh, split wide open there. Ace Christian trying to get the upper hand on Jacob Ryan, but Jacob Ryan having none of it. Hold a hammy, huh? Oh, and now d -Lock. And, oh, oh, my heaven, my God. The ear of Asher Christ has to be ringing right now. Oh, boss! Did you, you see the way Asher Christ head bounced yeah. off that pole? And look, he's trying to make him eat dirt just like he made Cynic eat dirt earlier. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, huge uppercut there, but D Luck. D Luck going for the title once again. Don't you come up boss, here. I think D Luck's got it figured out. And I think Jacob Ryan definitely sees the opening. And Rochambeau'd both of them. D-Lock hanging on. He's not letting go. D-Lock knows. You can hit, you can punch, you can kick. Oh! Kick just like Ace Christian just kicked him. D-Lock doing his best to hang on to that ladder. He knows no matter what you do in this match, the only thing that matters is that you climb that ladder and retrieve the championship. Now Cynic taking D-Lock off of that ladder. Oh no, TKO by Cynic. Mr. Judgment, Asher Christ. Asher looking around the ring now. Big uppercut to Jacob Ryan. Uh-oh, and he's staring down. He's staring down. Ace Christian grabs him. Oh, no. What could we see? Oh, boss! Omega Driver! Oh, my gosh. Some call that the awful wobble. The Omega Driver hit there perfectly by Asher Christ on the blaze. Ace Christian. Uh oh. Yeah, what can we see here? Zach Xander trying to take out Asher Christ. Uh oh. Oh no. Here we go. Oh! Boss elevated knee lift there by Asher Christ. And now d saying, get him up. What could, what could they possibly be setting up for? Are, are we going to hang on? Are we going to see some teamwork? Are, th are these two making it work together? Come on, guys. Only one person can win the match. Three! But I guess if you're wanting to get rid of somebody, that's one way to do it. Do it. D Luck, Asher Christ working together here in this matchup to take out Zach Xander. Now, Cynic, you see, poking the spikes of that lower face mask into Jacob Ryan. 
Oh, oh and now hitting him with the mini, the oh. mini step ladder. Yeah, that's what you It's massive ladder. Asher Christ asking, where's that boy? What boy is he talking about? I don't know what boy he's talking about, but we see D-Lock with those tomahawk chops to the neck of Jacob Ryan. D-Lock could be scaling the rungs. Getting one step closer to the YouTube championship. Boss, out of everything we've seen so far, who do you think has the best chance of winning here? Well, as of right now, well, it doesn't look that way right now, but I was going to say D-Lock right now has looked just impressive as hell in this match. Boss, I, I got to agree with you. D-Lock definitely has had a good showing, but I, I got to go with my pick, Asher Christ. I think Asher Christ has dominated this matchup so far. I, I think he's got the best chance of winning. He's the biggest man in this match, and uh, he, he's definitely one of the most experienced. Oh, and now Cynic with the, the right hand to Xander. Trading blows back and forth. My God. Oh, and an elbow right to the back of the neck. Uh-oh. Asher Christ looking around. Oh! Roundhouse kick there by Zach Xander onto Cynic. Asher Christ entering the ring once again. Looks like ever. Looks like he's. Oh, he grabs Xander. What could what could he be setting up for right here? And now pandemonium just going on in the ring right now. Every man battling it out. Wait, wait. Hang on a second. That's Ace Christian. He just leaped from the rooftops into the ring! Oh my god. I didn't mean to steal your thunder. Boss, my god, Ace Christian. Let's, can we see that again? Yeah, let's see this again. I'm going to let you say it, Orville. Boss, oh my god. He just flew from the rooftops into the ring. On to everyone, taking everybody out. Jesus. Ace Chris, it might have took out Ace Christian as well. I mean, he jumped off of a freaking roof. Boss, it's called high risk for a reason. And now Asher Christ doing, I hope he doesn't make the same mistake D-Lock made earlier, setting up that ladder in the corner. Uh -oh. I'm tired of your big ass. Oh! Judgment slam by Asher Christ. Nearly missing Cynic. Let's take a look at that again. I'm tired of your big ass. Oh my gosh, he said he's tired of his big ass. But there's just two big men flying through the air. Jacob Ryan sent flying with that judgment slam hit beautifully by Asher Christ. And oh no. What can we see here? Hang on. We got you, dummy. Can we see some teamwork? Ace, Ace, Chri Ace Christian in the. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! I am the Ladder King! He is the Ladder King. Listen, Cynic. You can't be the Ladder King if you're not the YouTube champion. So climb that damn ladder! White face moron! Not a wise move by Cynic here. I'd be climbing that ladder. Every man is down. He's the only one up right now. Oh! Well, I guess besides Asher Christ. Mm hmm. And now, turns him around. Backfist! Oh, boss! What a backfist! That could have. That's the same move that knocked out Tyler Aiken earlier. Come on, Cynic! Quit gloating and climb no the damn wrestling. ladder! That could be the opening Cynic needs here to become the YouTube champion, boss. All That's right, here, here we go. If he climbs the ladder, the YouTube title could have Cynic written all over it. Get up there, Cynic! Climb! It's been a hard-fought battle here between everybody, boss. Oh, no. Uh, and now, Zach Xander. Oh, Xander with the ladder shot straight to the back. I think Cynic wore himself out, gloating. 
Oh no. Oh no. Boss, this is never good. Oh, good grief. This isn't gonna end well for somebody. And now there's three men in the ring. Wait, Asher Christ second. Could we see another? Can we see some more teamwork? Asher Christ, Zach Xander, a long history with each other. Let's not forget. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Choke slam on that ladder table. Look at this. Oh, boss. That was disgusting. And d -Lock, back in the ring. d -Lock taking advantage. d quickly getting back up in the ring. He sees shotgun. He saw the opportunity and he freaking took it. Yeah. Boss, that could be the opening. You could be right. D Lock could yeah. win right here, right now. Oh no, there's Asher Christ back in the ring. Oh no, he's choking D Lock. Goodbye, D Lock. No! Wait a second. Shotgun! Oh! Boss, shotgun kick, D Lock coming back in. And now. Wait, wait, Xander's back up. Are they? They're taking out the big man, boss. They're taking out Asher Christ. That's what they're trying to do. Slice bread. And hang on. Oh, no. Ace Christian. Could he, be hit, could he hit that patented coup de gras? Oh, Christian, no. you're there. Grab the title. Oh, Just come grab on. the title. No! God, coup de gras from my top the ladder. It looks like he tried to grab it on the way down, but I don't think it. I don't think he grabbed the snaps. Two for one special didn't quite work out the way Ace Christian thought it would. Hitting that top, could you, atop the ladder, coup de gras. Could you imagine if he would have jumped off, grabbed the YouTube title, and coup de gras Asher Christ at the same time? What an what an amazing achievement that would have been, boss. But that's not the way it worked out. D lock now. Oh, they're fighting atop of that ladder. All men in this match are getting wore down. More and more and more. And now we see the two youngest members of the VTW roster fighting it out. Zach Xander with that ladder in the midst of the ring here is. Is he. He called D Lock over. Are we going to see some more teamwork here? To take out the Blaze Ace Christian? No, D Lock fending for himself here. D Lock fighting off the two youngest members of the roster. Beautiful drop kick there by D Lock. Drop well placed kick, kick right under the chin of Zach Xander. Oh, now kicks Ace Christian. What could he be setting up for? Uh oh, he ducks. He ducks that hit. D Lock, oh, and gets him again. D Lock going for that brain bust up. Uh oh. Xander, Xander throws him down. Xander's trying to throw him down. Well, what is Xander thinking doing this? Are they trying to get D-Lock out? Are we going to see some, some teamwork here again? Oh, oh, and a kick. And now he turns around into a jumping high knee. Leap, oh, no, 1916 here. Oh, 1916 there by the Blaze Ace Christian. And now Xander. Oh, it's over. It's over. Xander trying to open up that ladder. I don't think he can get it. Wait, bringing two ladders together. What does this mean? Boss. Oh, the stare down. The stare down. That title's all y'alls. And now the race to the top. What are these two men going to be the YouTube champion, boss? Both men, no look, Xander's hands on it. Wait a minute! Wait! Wait, there's Jacob, Jacob Ryan! Oh, Jacob Ryan sends both men off! We haven't seen him in a minute. Good boss, could this be it? Nobody else is up! Oh my, Jacob Ryan has the whole ring to himself. Oh, no, bringing in the taller ladder, like the veteran Jacob Ryan is. Boss, is Jacob uh -oh. Ryan going to be the YouTube champion? Here we go, climbing, scaling that. Somebody get up! Oh my! Come on now. Ryan! Oh my god, look, there's Xander! There's Xander! Behind him! 
Oh. He's oh. done it! Boss! Jacob Ryan is your inaugural VTW YouTube champion. He's done it, boss! New YouTube champion, Jacob Ryan, after a hard-fought main event ladder match. Jacob Ryan comes out victorious. What a story Jacob Ryan has had. You know, he he debuted at popular demand. Yeah! Boss, we're going to take a look back at some amazing moments we've seen in this ladder match. Hard-hitting, devastating moves by all men involved here. Orville, I think I was right whenever I said earlier that this match is like a human car wreck. It absolutely is. So much chaos, so much carnage. My God, Ace Christian coming off the roof. But none of that mattered because in the end, Jacob Ryan, your new YouTube champion. New YouTube champ! What do you think about that? I mean, just the, just the stretch that Jacob Ryan has went through to claim the YouTube championship. I told you. You didn't believe me. I told you. ECW, this is the first step. This is the first step. This is my championship. This is my VTW. Oh, my gosh. But let's, let's give, just give you a little history lesson about Jacob Ryan. You know, he debuted at Popular Demand facing Johnny Ryder. And then another big milestone in his career was in the Reunion <laughs> Rumble. Whenever we crowned the VTW World Championship, it came down to him and the current world champion, Zach Daniels. That's absolutely right, Jacob Ryan, not walking away VTW World Heavyweight Champion in that match, but tonight he has walked away your new inaugural VTW YouTube Champion. And I can only, I can only expect great things to come from this talented young man. Love him, hate him, doesn't matter. You gotta respect him because now he is the champion of YouTube. Step two, play me. Zach, if you're watching this, that means I have done my job well. I've known you for years. This means you're finally ready to fulfill your destiny. Better yet, our destiny. We grew, fought, and trained together, myself and you, Zach, to build VTW to what it is today. As we grew through the years, myself and you would capture titles, do amazing things in VTW. I would have nearly a one-year-long title run as the VTW World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, and how it pains my silver heart to look and know that I no longer, nigh, I have not the gold that makes the man. But you do, Zach. You're the VTW World Heavyweight Champion. You are the eagle atop the totem pole, Zach. Congratulations. Oh, and one more thing. Notice anything similar about every one of the matches we've had in VTW? I won them all. That's right, Zach. You've never beaten the standards man in a VTW ring. How many matches is that? Five? That's five times I could have been the VTW World Heavyweight Champion. As a matter of fact, Three of those were title defenses, and I came out on top every time. Silver doesn't sleep, Zach, and the reality is, when I'm the man in the arena, I know when to draw my sword. 
you're a great champion, Zack, but it's time for you to fulfill your part of our destiny. Zack Daniels, you have something that I want, and I have something that you want. It's time we talk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's time we talk. What's up, man? You look puzzled. You know, I've been sitting here for hours and I just, I can't think of the name for our April show. Okay, well, let's see what you got. One hour later. I got it. Breakdown. I got the second one. How about this one? Here comes the pollen. Funny, but... You're gonna love this one. Forward, not backward. Two hours later. BTW, insert name here. Insert name here. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Da <laughs> da <laughs> 